they did not know what they had and they sold it to me for $18. The Lord just gave me it. He wanted me to have it. This may just be the best jacket I've ever owned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. For those of you who are new here, welcome back. For those of you who are returning, I have the world's largest thrift haul for you guys. I have a pile, a couple piles of some things that I've been thrifting over the past month or so. Um, Noah and I have been hitting up all the flea markets. We went to Artisan Fleas on Abbot Kenny. We went to Rose Bowl this month. Um, we went to Long Beach last month. So we've just been accumulating some thrifted goods and I don't think I've went shopping, like actually shopping. It was before Christmas the last time that I've been, but I just enjoy thrifted items so much because they just have so much value and you're giving them a new home and it's like a treasure hunt, just like going and finding the things that you have been looking for um, or just stumbling upon something that maybe you wouldn't pick out normally. So yeah, I'm excited to get into this. The theme is definitely white. <laughs> I am going down my neutral train again. I usually am like a neutral girl anyways, but I ventured off last year and started to get into some colored things um hence this is muted but I like this vibe but I started kind of getting into green I was really loving the green trend um there are a few colorful items in here for you colorful girlies but majority of it is just like neutrals because I feel my best when I'm in neutrals and I realized when I moved to California it was like kind of a really weird transition just because when I was home in Indiana, I like knew how to dress. I don't know how to explain it, but like once I finally got to California, it was just like, there's so many different vibes that like I want to go for that I would look at my closet and just be like, I don't know who I am. <laughs> fashion wise, inside I know who I am, but fashion wise, I'm like, there's like, Orange County vibe, there's LA vibes, there's San Diego vibes. Even where I live, there's like a certain vibe. And it's like, I don't wanna just like be wherever I am. Like I want it to like stem from who I am and like what I'm feeling and not just like be trendy or um, be like ahead of the trends and like try to like wear what like the New York girls are wearing or whatever. Like I hate fashion like that. Like. I'm not one of those fashionista girls that like, I know what the trends are because I follow those types of people, but I am not like that type of person that just like buys it wearing like beaded things because now they're it's popular. Like, I'll look at a trend. I should do a trend video. I think that would be really good because this is getting really long, but basically I don't like buy into the trends. If I, if I like it, I'll like maybe thrift a couple pieces to like be able to rock it for a bit but I'm not like going out and like spending hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars on items that are trendy. Like the, like the nylon Prada bags that were like super trendy for a while. Like I'm not gonna go buy that. Or like right now, like the ballet flats and like clogs and all of these different like New York type vibes I've been seeing. I'm just like, I wouldn't wear that in my normal day-to-day -day life. So I'm not gonna wear it just because it's trendy, if that makes sense. But anyways, all of these pieces are pieces that are true to me. They're an extension of who I am. And that's why I love thrifting so much because you have to pick it out and you have to dig. And if you can't do that, then you're probably not gonna find very good things. <laughs> but okay, let's get into this thrift haul. No, we hate it. We hate it, we hate it. Again, see the claw clip? Like, I had it in my hair because I was doing my makeup, but... Okay, let's move on. Get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is jewelry. So I found this beautiful little shell necklace, and I'm going to wear this in Hawaii because I leave in a couple of weeks. And then I also found this really pretty, like, pearl necklace. I've been loving this like beachy trend. I I like the beaded ones, but 
I don't know, they're like a little too like little girl Y2K vibes for me. I'm not totally into that. So I like to throw it like a little more beachy. That's more my style. So love this. First up, this little skirt. I cried when I saw this because it's just a little silk skirt, but it has the most beautiful little slit in the side with lace trimming. And I've just been looking for something very similar to this. They have it on like Verge Girl and stuff, just to like throw on. On the skirt trend, I also got this. This is from a vintage store called Goods on Orange in Long Beach. They invited me to come shop with them, but I'm obsessed with this little mini skirt and it's a little bit like mid-rise and I just see this being so cute. Next, I have these colorful, I don't even know why I wanted these because again, not totally my style, but like, I think I can make them work in the summer. They're so just like cutesy, but they're just these little high rise shorts and they have like the little tool pocket thing, but I love them. I think it'd be cute with a little tank top, just like barefoot beach vibes. Next, I have these. I've been looking for like a pair of pants like this. Um, again, they're trending right now, definitely, but I want to wear them more beachy rather than like high fashion, but I think that I could rock that if I wanted to, but my kind of goal for these were to throw it beachy as always and just wear either like a swimsuit top or um, like a little like cropped tank with flip flops, but I found these at the Artisan Flea. They just are a little wide leg kind of like a yellowy beige color. And then they have this vintage DKNY active, but they're super like low rise. And I bring them up just a little bit and make them mid rise, but I'm obsessed. So got this mostly for like summer and like the beach, but it was like a vintage rip curl tank. And I just think that it's so cute. Now onto the white trend. Um, I have a few things. One is this little tank. I'm obsessed with this. I've worn it like a million times with shorts and like boots, but I actually bought this off my friend Alyssa. So shout out to Alyssa, but she gave it to me for $5 and I've been wearing it nonstop. Little dress from a furniture consignment. It was like folded up and I thought it was a napkin. So I picked it up and then it unfolded into this dress. And it's probably my new favorite dress. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I just wear it with a little bralette and some boots or flip flops. There are some pieces I thrifted for Hawaii. So I got this little dress and this I actually bought vintage. So it was not super cheap. Like sometimes I buy vintage, sometimes I, I thrift. So it kind of just depends. Um, the next like, two to three items are vintage. So this guy is just like a crochet little dress. It was giving me island vibes. I am obsessed, it looks like a net and I wanna wear a little bikini under it and just like run around the island and live my best life. So that's that. And this is the sweetest little thing. I just am obsessed with it just this little white dress again i told you the white theme i don't know what's wrong with me it's like the french linen vibe i'm just i'm on it i'm i'm here for it and speaking of french linen these are french linens <laughs> i got this from the rose bowl from this girl who takes actual linen like material from france and she makes dresses out of them so she literally hand stitched this entire dress and I just about fell over and died when I saw it. I don't know why nobody bought this. It was like the last like 10 minutes of shopping, but it's so pretty. This is the back, this is the front, and she sold it to me for like $25. And I was so thankful because I'm obsessed and I just see myself wearing this all summer. I got this, this was not very cheap but I bought it from one of my friends that sells at like all the flea markets. I always see her at the Long Beach market. She does like hand dyed um, silk pieces, but she also does like clothing. And I have a few jackets from her. I think they usually are like 40 to $60, but this one I could not pass up. It's like the prettiest like yellowy 
just like distressed color and it goes with everything i've just been throwing it over everything like if you wear all white if you wear all black if you're wearing all brown like it just really goes with everything so stoked on this and it really chills out an outfit too like i like how it's kind of grungy because it doesn't make it too dressy next i got these levi's they are pink i don't know what i was feeling but they were ten dollars got them from the rose bowl from this girl and they're also orange tags so she really she really just gave me these so i'm gonna wear them for a bit they're a little big so i'm gonna do the button trick where i bring it in a little bit but I like these a lot. I think they'll be cute. Got this shirt. And again, with the netting like material, I've just been obsessed with like anything that looks like it was washed up on the beach. That's me. So this little guy was $5 and I've already worn it two times and I got it like three days ago. I saved my jackets for last because they're simply the coolest things I've ever seen. I also, from the same girl at the Rose Bowl, got this little swimsuit. So it is a one piece and it's the same like netting material, but it's burnt orange. And then the back is like all cut out. And I think it was like, it's like a really old like Billabong swimsuit. So we love vintage surf brands. It's the best. I love Billabong anyways. I work with them. So I'm excited to rock this and show them that I found it. I'm going to show you a few things that I got from this little vintage store here in Oceanside. It's like... Noah and I's stomping grounds we go in once a week they they know our names we know their names it's like yeah it's a problem but I got this I told you with the green I don't know what it is but this color green specifically I just I'm obsessed with it I love it so much I got a huge like green puff jacket that I wish I could show you but Noah's wearing it today and then we also got the same puff jacket in like a mauve color and they're ski jackets, literally, like they're puffy, but they're so cute. So I got two of those from the Long Beach Market, but I'm not showing them in this haul. Um, but I got this, just this little green button up jacket, easy just to throw on with anything. Noah got this, which we're probably going to share it. It's just a little denim jacket, but it's very like, I don't know. I don't know, just a staple. He picked that out, so I'll probably be stealing that. So I also got this tee, which I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. So it is just this little racing tee, and I'm like kind of over these, I'm not gonna lie. Like once they hit like Forever 21, I'm just, I can't anymore. But I just loved this one because it's so distressed and the back is like cut out. And I just think it will be so cute in the summer with like, shorts like ripped up shorts and i could either wear boots with it or um like little slides and it's a vibe so lastly are a few pairs of shoes and then i'll do my jacket so shoes these clogs i i know i told you that i'm not on the clog trend but these ones my friend morgan was selling for like 15 dollars, and they're like hand painted and i simply just could not pass it up leather boots they look like free people i'm obsessed with these i see myself just all the western feelings but all of my boots are either doc martens or kind of just like booties so i love how edgy these are the last three things are the score of a lifetime so i was at this vintage store and i feel so bad for them because they did not know what they had because i found this yellow hoodie which it's not just any hoodie it's a sporty and rich hoodie which if you know the brand you know that these run about 150 and they sold it to me for 18 dollars and i feel so bad when that happens but at the same time i'm like the lord just gave me it he wanted me to have it and i have it so i'm excited to just rock this guy for a little bit and then i'll probably resell it on depop um later on when i'm tired of the color because you all know i'm a neutral girl so this is going to get old real fast but i like it for now so actually this was from artisan fleece no this was from rose bowl rose bowl this brown blazer i have this in black is it the same brand no 
I have this in black and I wore the crap out of it. Like I have worn it so much and I got that one at Goodwill. This one I got at Rose Bowl and they sold it to me for $40, which, which I think is totally worth it because my other one, my black one, I know I've worn more than 40 times, probably like 80 times, but I'm obsessed with this. And then last but not least is the grand finale. This may just be the best jacket I've ever owned. It looks so designer. It looks so expensive. It looks so high class and also so chill and beachy at the same time. And that's just who I am. This jacket, can you even, can you even? It looks like it just washed up from the beach. It has the most beautiful little beads and then little shells. And then the bottom has these little tassels. And I feel like I'm on an episode of Pirates of the Caribbean. And I love Johnny Depp. So here we are. Yeah, this is, this is it. This is definitely it. Was she cheap? No, she was not thrifty prices. It was $60 which I don't spend $60 on jackets quite literally ever, unless it's like something I've been looking for. Like if I were to see this and it was $60, I'd probably buy it just because I know how much I wore my other one and I wanted one in brown. And this color brown is just like perfect. But this is the most insane thing I've ever seen. So I had to do it. All right guys, that concludes my thrifting haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found some inspo. I hope this was entertaining for you. 20 minutes of watching me show you what I've thrifted this month. Um, that's fun for me. I don't know if that's fun for you. Let me know if you like these type of videos. I'm always so nosy to see what other people thrift. I love just like seeing people's styles and stuff. So I wanted to show you guys, but Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me so much. It helps me grow and it helps me know that you guys want to see more YouTube videos. And as a creator, I need to know that so that I can create more for you guys. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.